In this video, we're going to use Placeit's logo maker to make this t-shirt right here. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. In this video, I'm going to go on Placeit and design a t-shirt using their logo maker. I have a video already where I show how to use the t-shirt maker. I'll put that video right here. But in this case, we're going to use the logo maker instead of just the t-shirt maker. And I'll show you why we use it. You're going to want to stay to the end to see the final product. You'll also want to stay to the end to see another edition of trend credits. So let's get into Placeit so I can show you exactly how this works. So here we are on Placeit, placeit.net. If you've never been here before, this is a place for branding and design. And you can see here, they have a lot of stuff for t-shirt designers as well as just graphic designers. So you can see they have mock-ups, designs, logos, videos, gaming, all those things. And if you just, this is their front page right here. So you can kind of see they do templates for Instagram. They have a lot of mock-ups, which I personally use myself that I put on Instagram. I put my designs on t-shirts and then upload them to Instagram for a good post. And here you can see they have a resize thing. We'll get into that at the end here. Um, easy to use templates, keyframe preview. So they do videos as well. A uh, ton of social media stuff. What I don't use all of it, but I do use for Instagram. And then this is where you can see they also have 10,000 logos. So you can help create a logo. So it's good for graphic designers that want to create a logo for a company, but we can use this as t-shirt sellers and designers for our t-shirt business as well. So you can see here, some of these, a lot of these would do really well on t-shirts and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So we're just going to hit create logo right here. And then you need to just think of what you're going to design, like what niche are you going to design? Now you don't have to, in for brand name, what you want to type in here is what you want it printed on the shirt. So let's say we want um, something about coffee. So let's just say I run on coffee. And it actually lets you put in up to 20, but we can change that. Oh, let me spell coffee right. We can change that as well later. So let's just hit next. Pick industry. Um, we're going to do coffee shop of course, because it's coffee. Let's go. Let's wait as it loads. Let's just look at some of these. You can see it brings in the coffee cup designs. It gives you some other things as well. Because I typed run, it did run here. So let's do this one. I'm, I'm interested in this one right here. Oh, it says I run on coffee. I kind of want to say I run on coffee at the top here. So I'm going to do that. And we just type it here. I run, well, capital, I want it all caps. So I hit the caps lock, I space run on. And you can see it's just trying to fit it in there. So you can size it too. So if that's too big, right there, I run on. I like that uh, graphic. So I'm just gonna say this is coffee. C-O, oops, gotta spell it right, guys. All right, I run on coffee. And this can be bigger coffee and let me see I'm gonna use this as and I run on coffee and let's do something else and um, how about Christmas cheer since it's near Christmas Christmas cheer see how that fits so you can see you don't even have to do the arc yourself it does it automatically so let's move that down here this can be bigger so you just click the this to scale it um, this corner and you can move it around and it automatically makes it centered you see that line when it comes up that means it's centered there now you know you could be good with this and these could be there or not I kind of like them there that's kind of a neat thing so let's do that that's already really good so Look, we could change it as well. So there's some graphics here. Let's say we wanted not running. Maybe we want it as coffee instead. Let's see. Coffee. Instead of that person running, we could put a coffee 
thing. Let's see which one I would like. There's so many graphics here. It's amazing. So the thing that I would do is start with something, the template, but then change it a little bit. And that way it will be different from everyone else, right? Because the chances of someone picking all the different, the same fonts and the backgrounds and the text and the, it would be really small. So let's do this coffee here. You can see here, that's really cool, right? This line drawing. And you don't even have to draw it. It comes in with it free. That's pretty cool. And the thing I like about the logos is you have this badge now, right? So it doesn't have to be this round thing. It can be all these other ones. My thing's blocking it right now, but you can see, I'm gonna choose some other ones so you can see what it does. Look at how cool that is, right? Look at these. Like trying to do that on a shirt. Let me just find one more. That I really like this last one right here. It's pretty cool. Kind of looks like coffee beans and stuff. But you know, trying to make something like this on your own, that's gonna be tough, right? I mean you can do it, but look, you can do it with a click on here. So let's just like like this is this is the problem. Like Trying to find something that's, because there's so many choices, I think that's the hardest thing, but they're so cool. It, you get lost. So you're going to have to just like, okay, I want to go with this one, right? So let's go back. I really like this one, like I said. So look at that. That works. I'm just going to make it a little bigger and then centered it. How cool is that? I run on coffee and Christmas cheer. Now you can change the colors of any of this. You can change the fonts on any of this. I'm gonna leave it because I think it's cool. Um, I'm just trying to get it fitting in there. Yes, and so the background, I left it black because black shirts work really well, but then you can check and see like what would it look like on a red shirt, not bad, or you know, blue shirt or whatever. So, but, before you save this, you want to save it without the background like this, okay? Because you're going to put it, the shirt color is going to be the background color. You don't want the background color on top of the shirt color. Does that make sense? So let's just uncheck that. And well, I'm going to check it again just so you can see. So this is where you can change the font. I didn't show you that, but if you wanted a different font, let's make sure we remember. So Icaros, but instead of Icaros, let's say I wanted a serif font on here you can see that it changed it right away. I kind of like that Icaros font. It worked really well. I don't want this touching, so I'm gonna just move, I'm just gonna move it down a little bit there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I don't know about 1984. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's pretty cool in there. Yeah, I'm liking that. I like how this color kind of matches that color. What do you think? We'll go with that for now, just to show you how it works. And then, of course, make sure we don't do the background. And we are going to download it. So now that you saved it, you can go to your downloads. I'm already signed in here. So I'm going to go to my downloads and view all my downloads. And here's what you can do. If it's not the right size, you can save it and resize it. So we're going to use the resize tool. So here we are on my downloads. Now that it's here, I'm going to show you how to use the resize tool. So you just go here click on crop slash resize and it's going to pull up the resize tool. So here you have the free image cropper and you can adjust it whatever size you want. And you can see here, here's the pixel by pixel. For Merch by Amazon, it is 4,500 by 5,400. And you can see here now you can size it within that here. So this right here, this space is the 4,500 by 5,400. So you just kind of want to space it in there. You can move it in there and it can center, you know. So make sure you do it right here. Kind of the size you would do on your template. And then now you hit download. And this download will be the right size, the 4,500 by 5,400. And that will work on your Merch by Amazon shirts as well as your Redbubble shirts. So I'm going to open up the download and put it on a shirt and show you what it looks like on Merch by Amazon. So here I am on Merch by Amazon. I'm on the Create page. You can see 
Because I downloaded or made that new size 4500 by 5400, that is the perfect size to fit on the t-shirts here on Merch Informer. It'll work on Redbubble as well, but you can see I didn't have to do anything else because I downloaded it to the right size and it works perfectly as I upload it here. And let me show you on the different colors so you can choose. Now we can see on black, we don't have that black background, right? I took it out, I made it transparent. So the background is the t-shirt itself. So you can see here, you can go here and kind of test the colors. I'm gonna do, that looks cool on navy. Oh, it kind of gets washed out that, that color in olive. So this is why you wanna test all the colors inside of place it. And if it's not the right color, go back and change the colors, right? So see on red, I think I like it on red. White, no, because I have some white text on there. Brown looks great. This one kind of gets lost. I like that green, silver. That one's not bad, All right? And so that's what I would do on here is just pick the different colors that you like on Merch by Amazon and hit save. I did not save the right size for the hoodie. You can go back and resize it as well. And this would be 4,500 by 4,050. So if you wanna do both, go back in there, size it again, put it on your hoodies. So that's how I would do that. That's how you use the logo maker and place it to do t-shirts. So there's a lot of stuff that I didn't show you. Let me go back and show you some of the other things in the logo maker that make it really cool. So we're back here in the logo maker again. Instead of going to next, you can also hit see our templates. And so let's do that instead this time. And this is just gonna show you how many templates they have, all the different kinds of styles. You can see here, it's already having some art styles. These would be really good on stickers, these texts. There's some cool like mascot looking logos here. Like look at all this artwork that you get. Cool text things that you can use for like Look at all of those. Got some gradients, got the background, the spatter background. I mean, to make that yourself, very time consuming or impossible if you don't know what you're doing. But you can see here, look, just a lot of cool things. Just think about all these graphics that you can use with the logo maker. So not just coffee, think outside the box of pets. You could think of sports. Like this is really good for all of this stuff. If you go here, this will give you, if you're not sure like what topics to do, well, when you hit this right here, this drop down kind of gives you a list of topics here. So, and what's cool is if you want to just try it out, there's some freebies too in place it. So if you're new to it, here's some freebies. So you can see here, some of these are free if you just want to try it out. So that, that's really good if you're just learning and wanting to try it for the first time. Just look at all this stuff. Hundreds, literally hundreds of shirts here. And for free, you got so many of them for free. Just pages and pages of, of free ones. So, so here are some other ones. Just some cool artwork, right? Just wow. So take a look at that. That's Logo Maker in place it. When you get here, logos, logo maker, and all of these are that. So that is it for this video. Hope you liked it. Make sure to leave a comment below if you plan on using Placeit or if you if you think this logo maker is really cool. I think it is. And stay tuned for another edition of Trend Credits. Right. Thanks for staying till the end for this Trend Credits. The election date has passed, but there's still so many election t-shirts out there. I just picked one. You can just look on Amazon. There's things about the election, who won, who didn't win, how it's a fraud or rigged or whatever. Um, you can see all those. I picked this one instead. Kamala Harris, Madam Vice President or VP. You can see the BSRs on these are just super low now. Uh, you can see here, Madam Vice President, Kamala, it's getting an A. So you know it's good here. Merch Informer, again, link in the description. They're having a sale right now in Q4. So if you don't have this already, you, you can use Merch Informer to check the competition as well as get graphics and trademarks and all, just a lot of stuff. So I'm not gonna get into what Merch Informer does, but it's getting an A in the competition checker. Just look on Amazon and look at all the different elections shirts out there. This is just one trend. 
there's so many other ones I can't list them all so you can see this is a good one to do right now thanks so much for watching guys thanks for staying all the way to the end and don't forget if you're not subscribed already make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you if you liked it and as always guys keep creating and keep learning see you on the next one bye